Hi, I'm Jim Wilson. We're going to do a real quick tip on checking PCV valves. I know a lot of you guys just check the shake, rattle, and roll routine. I've got a car that's running a little bit, um, it's got a little bit, it's running lean right now. So I'm going to go ahead and check the PCV valve on this particular system. Now, when you check a PCV valve, one of the easiest way to do this on the ones that you can get to is pull it out of the valve cover. And when you notice I pulled it out of the valve cover, there's a slight change in RPM on the engine. But what I normally do is put my thumb over the, the hose to it, and I want to see a 50 to 100 RPM change. And if you notice on this engine, there is no change. There's a lot of oil around this situation, so the piece of e-valve should be serviced. While I'm here, this car was bought recently, as far as I understand. The other thing I'm noticing is I've got a K&N filter here. There's nothing wrong with a K&N filter as long as it is serviced properly. The only problem about it is you have to service it, and you have to service it and let it drain. If there's any oil buildup in there that gets on the mass airflow sensor called the problem. On this particular car, before I did a lot of my diagnostics, I would change the oil, all right? I would check the PCV valve, and I would service the air filter before I went and did more testing on it before I get a problem on the car. The other thing I might want to do, guys, if you're looking at mass airflow sensors, while we're here, one other thing to keep in mind. I'm going to scroll down and pull the mass airflow sensor up on the screen. Grams per second. A lot of guys just sell there, uh, they tell me that it really doesn't have any effect. Right now, I've got 3.28 grams per second. Now, on a good running car, I have a 3.4 liter engine in here. I should have 3.4 grams. I have created a slight vacuum leak. Now, if I put my it back in the crankcase, we'll see what happens. It automatically goes to 3.63. So, slight vacuum leak. My grams per second drops down, so we know it's there. Now, it's trying to pick back up because we have a couple, uh, it's picking up some fuel out of the system. Back down there. So, in other words, I might want on this particular vehicle, serve the PC valve, the mass airflow sensor, and do a little bit of a fuel trim reset and see if I correct my problem. Now, when I started working on this car, I had 40 or 35 um, IAC counts. Now, if I look at my IAC counts right now by doing this couple of tests here, guys, just looking at it, when I started, it was at 35. I'm at 23 right now. I'm going to pull it out of the valve cover again and watch. We'll have a slight change on it. The idle air control will go out to try to compensate for the problem. Put my thumb over it. And it will go, not moving very much right now. So again, I think I need to service the idle air control by maybe doing, coming up and doing a service on the throttle body assembly to fix this vehicle. Now we could do a bi-directional test on the idle air control to make sure it goes up and down and it works properly. But right now with these issues we have, we need to address these first and then test later. If you notice something interesting, guys, let's go back to the L2 sensor. In the crankcase, I'm averaging what? 386, let's say I take it out of the crankcase and what happens? Automatically you see a little bit of difference in the process, it shows lean. So right now I would serve as a PCV valve, it's a maintenance issue, I'm real heavy into maintenance on cars, serves the mass airflow sensor. Maybe I don't really have a really good pull on the PCV valve, I might want to double check the hose to make sure it's clean. Just a service issue the guy should be doing on a regular basis. If this is not working properly, your fuel trim is going to be off. So you have to service this first.